In Warframe, the general rule of thumb seems to be that size matters. Oh yes, size. Bigger numbers, bigger damage, bigger sense of accomplishment. Big weapons are awesome. Bigger is better. But what about the die Q? The biggest bow we have? The one you break out when you want to feel like Robin Hood instead of maybe looking like Robin Cake. Now, don't get me wrong, cake is feckin' nice. Who doesn't like cake? But the phrase rise and rise again until lambs become lions wouldn't exactly sound the same with a handful of chocolate cake now would it nom 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 now a quick heads up this video is sponsored by discord nitro which currently has a warframe resource booster active as part of their nitro perks bundle for the game in the past they've had multiple different deluxe bundles and skins for warframes and weapons and color palettes as well as other boosters now the link for discord nitro is in this video's description make sure and go ahead and check it out if you like what you hear or if you like what you see once you click on that link now the main point of this video it's about time that we bow down to the new warframe meta out with the old meta in with the new cast away your guns we're going old school not quite with rocks like but pick up your bows then throw the majority of them away as well because all you need is the die queue until it's nerfed i'm only saying that because i know someone's already typing it now the die queue is now the monster that i guess you would fully expect a longbow to be in this game and even more of a monster than it was before which kind of fits in line with the insane trend of power creep in our community the die queue is without a doubt now the strongest and hardest hitting bow that we have in game feck off with your dread forget about your cernos stop pretending you're good with the lens we know you're blowing yourself sideways or blowing yourself up sideways the die queue is a bow that can now one shot the limbs of an eidolon with the right squad setup which i guess a lot of weapons can do just in case you don't like bringing a sniper with you and want to go full caveman style as an example i will leave a link in this video's description as well to another warframe content creator's video he is called all blade and in this video he is melting idle on limbs with the die queue so check it out great video and it shows off the full potential of what the die queue can do now the die queue is a bow that can hit 100 status chance with two dual stat mods it's a bow that has the fastest projectile speed of all arrows barely any drop on those arrows as well but it also it's a bow that needs to be fully charged back you need to fully pull back that string before you can actually fire it if you don't fully pull it back then the arrow won't release it's also got a pretty slow charge time which means modding for speed trigger or vile acceleration or bringing a warframe in your squad that can speed up that charge time like maybe a wisp with her haste buff or bringing it with gauss with his red line ability they really complement this bow they really do now it's also a projectile based weapon like i said which means leading your targets and it draws ammo from the sniper ammo pool which is the rarest so it still has a few downsides that will stop a lot of players running with this bow powerful but will it fit your playstyle and forget about going up against infested with this because of course they're just going to swarm on top of you and i guess it becomes a little bit of a nightmare now when the saint of ultra mainline update dropped on pc we've seen a pretty hefty buff for all bows in game damage increase for a lot of them some status chance buffs some crit buffs uh, some draw time buffs except the lens i think all the lens got was some visual uh, effects changes and the reason this happened is that de responded to reports that the paris was dealing less damage than what was stated and when they checked it out that they found out all bows in game were underperforming so as a result we got some buffs the die queue got a slight decrease to its status chance a huge increase to its crit chance its damage increased from 460 to 700 and its projectiles now go faster as well so it got a pretty hefty buff now it's also a weapon that has a four star riven disposition of 1.3 which means you can get amazing absolutely amazing ribbons for this if you enjoy ribbons if you can afford them because i would imagine you can expect the prices for this weapons ribbons to absolutely climb now i have a ribbon on mine and it is a crit chance crit damage and slash based ribbon so i do see some big big bleeds but for this footage i removed my ribbon and i used vital sense instead just to show you that it is perfectly viable to run without a ribbon and it is still very very powerful however these are my die cube builds hunter munitions with a crit chance and crit damage of this bow is a definite must-have i feel like unless maybe you're idle on hunting because the bleeds won't happen but for normal enemies watching bleeds of 30 or 40 000 a tick 
is the result you will get from running with Hunter Munitions. For my simulacrum footage, my Volt has the Vigilante mods equipped, which increases my crit chance potential or my crit potential. Arcane Rage is also a really good arcane to bring on your Warframe if you want to boost your damage even more since you're going to be going for headshots anyway and 120% bonus damage of this weapon is absolutely nuts. Now Vile Acceleration is a personal preference. Speed Trigger will do if you don't want to use Vile Acceleration and lose the small amount of damage I guess that you're going to lose by having this mod equipped. And like I said earlier, Warframes like Wisp with her haste buff, Redline Gauss, Crit, Harrow, Rhino with his roar or Chroma with the damage buff and some other frames as well will put that little bit of extra shine onto your DiQ if you want to try it out. Now has the Eidolon hunting meta changed? Probably not. Snipers don't have that travel speed and the projectile arcs to worry about but bows are cool as fuck and landing those headshots has a much better feel to them especially when running with a big bow like the DiQ. Now it's got goods and bads going for it goods and bads it's got a good side and a bad side but it feels so much better since it got those buffs now check it out for yourself let me know what you think of the new and improved DiQ console whenever you guys get I guess the mainline update in 2013 or whenever that's going to be do me a huge favor hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more Warframe and as always thanks very much for watching